Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 1 practice test for TinReady or TCAP or whatever they're calling it now. And this is question number 18. We're in subpart 2, that means calculators are allowed. We won't need it here, but it's allowed. Anyway, John has a goal to ride his bike at least 100 miles this summer. Now I'm kind of a, the type of guy who likes to make some marks on my paper. I figure if we're going to kill a bunch of trees, I might as well get something out of it. If, assuming it's on paper once it's digital it's a whole other thing I'm not wasting any trees for this anyway uh, at least a hundred miles does matter so his ultimate goal which means it's the everything has to be connected to that in some way is that it's a hundred miles or more so I'm gonna make a statement up here that says in the end of all things I want this whatever I find out to be either greater than or equal to a hundred so as you can see a hundred is less than or equal to that amount so now I go here and now that I've feel, figured that out, I don't have to worry about it anymore. John has ridden 12 miles already, so 12 miles are important here, and there are 40 days left in summer. Write an inequality, which we already did, so check there. Look at us thinking ahead. See, that's an inequality. An inequality would be a statement that shows that um, they're not necessarily equal. If you have a, a greater than equal to, it could be equal, but not required. Also, less than, greater than, or e inequalities. Anyways, um, write an inequality to represent the average distance in miles John must ride each day for the rest of the summer to achieve his goal. So, not directly related, obviously, because I'm not trying to m make any linear statements here. But if I have y equals mx plus b, which is probably something you've seen on a chalkboard about a trillion times in this class, um, there's two parts to it. This part represents the part that's stable, or a starting off point, so I'll put starting there which isn't the same as starring. It's not starring B. Maybe it is. I don't know. And then re this part represents a part that will have uh, some component of change, generally speaking. But it's really the part that it's, it's broken down into individual units. If I'm talking about a graph, for instance, I have a starting point, which is my intercept, and then I'll add or subtract, depending. But it's just the idea that if I could separate out the starting part from the rest of it that works together, that would make my life easier. And let's do that. John's ridden 12 miles, so I'm just going to put whatever I figure out over here with the 40 business plus the 12 I've already done. He doesn't need to go back and do more th to make up for the extra 12. Now that I've got that out of the way I can erase all this nonsense. So I've dealt with this so really all I have left is this. So I'm going to need to start with 40 days and then break it into an equal amount. So if I just say well 40 if I did plus some number, that won't help me. 40, 40 days of summer plus some distance, that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, 40 divided by distance? If I was trying to find out, uh, if I had a large number of miles and had to break it down to find how many days it would take, then yeah, maybe. But not really here. Subtraction, whatever. So let's try multiply. And then you can just do some tests for yourself. Like if he f cycled five miles a day, would that get him, would the the answer give you a reasonable number. So try like 40 times 5 plus 12 and you end up with 212. So he'd destroy it there. So he doesn't even need to bother. Uh, probably a couple miles would almost get him there. Yeah, he's at 92 just just cycling 2 miles a day for 40 days the rest of summer. But he's trying to find an amount that at least he can do that much. So if he does two and a half miles, he's probably in good shape. If he decides to amp it up and do a lot more, he's in even better shape. And most likely, John will ride different mileages uh, over different days. But this is a math problem, so we have to pretend like everything works in nice, organized fashion. So there you go. 40D plus 12 is greater than or equal to 100.